Hey folks, it's Fridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We are working on the brand new Spitty that we started working on in our last episode. And this time we've got some engine knocking sounds. A short patrol over Hastings noticed some faint knocking sounds from the engine. Please check what's wrong. So we need to refuel the coolant, refuel the aircraft and fix the engine knocking sounds. Sounds simple enough. So what we'll do first is we'll very quickly deal with this one. Now I'm curious, if I pick that up and I come over here, can I take the fuel cap off? I can. While I'm carrying this, I can actually take the fuel cap off. So we can put that one on there and I can put the hose in like that. Then I come down here. We go in and so it's, it's just a little bit of fuel that we need to go in here. We don't need too much. Fit that one up like that. Okay. Then I go back up here like this and I pick that one up. I want to go to mode 2. Okay, mode two doesn't... No, no. So, right, it's, it's not actually letting me do that. I've got to bring the hose back down here and put that one away. Climb back up on here. Then go to mode. Right, I, I don't know why that wasn't working properly. I had to do some right-clicking and left-clicking and right-clicking and stuff. It's now worked. Okay, that's, that's the important part. It has now worked. So, um... He didn't quite like it properly. So first up, top engine cowling. I'm going to remove the whole of the top engine cowling. So we want to come down here. We've got a whole load of these little buttons and stuff here. There, like that. Um, there we go, all the way through. And then we've got coolant cap i'm going to remove that one i'm going to fill, i'm now going to fill it with coolant all right we we'll come out of there like that and i'll run over here and i'll grab a thing of coolant like that i'll come back over climb up onto here and oh wait a minute rotate the propeller wait was i close enough then More coolant. Okay, I'm... I... <laughs> Look! No! <laughs> I'm falling! <laughs> okay. We're doing this blind. <laughs> uh, okay, we... Let me do that there. Right. I've, I've at least managed to do that bit. <laughs> okay, that was actually quite cool. Um... We'll dump that down there, and then I'll go back up onto here, and I'm going to go to mode 2 there a minute. Uh, I'll put that coolant cap back on. Right, now I go to mode 1. We've got a knocking noise in the engine. Uh, this is a big old engine. Right, a knocking noise. It definitely was a knocking engine knocking noise. Now, a knocking in the engine, that suggests that something is loose or... I might be misfiring slightly, might it, I suppose. Um, these are pretty quick to undo. So we can take those off like that. There. Right, now. Propeller blade assembly. I can rotate that if I want to, which might be useful. Uh, we can go to option three. Generator, suppressor, supercharger, fuel filter down there, oil filter is fine. And not, I'm guessing it would be, there's a wheel case, uh, port, exhaust, in there, is it magneto maybe? No. What would be my guess? Is some, is some uh, like a mechanical failure maybe? Lower ignition wire, maybe it something to do with the um oh the uh the 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 the, the, the. i know the word i'm looking for spark plugs spark plugs maybe it's something to do with the spark plugs could be that the spinner itself is pristine propeller assembly is fine uh starboard induction manifold the port induction manifold 
Uh, I'm looking around on here and coolant outlets, upper ignition wires. We've got more over here. I see. I've okay. So being able to check things faster would certainly make a difference for us now when we're on this. The, that's fine on there. If I go to option number one and I go to that one, we want to knock all of these through like that and go to there. Right. Now, we go back to option three. Oil control. Uh, starboard cylinder block. We've got cylinder head right there. Uh, coolant tank is already checked. Well, there's no new bits down here. Oh, what's this? Engine starter, that's fine. All right, I'm, so I'm looking at these bits back here. These bits, none of these actually do anything. Oh, hydraulic pump. Air compressor. No, it's none of those. So it's, it's definitely more of a mechanical type thing that would be doing knocking noises. Uh, this down here isn't anything. So it looks like we might be having to dismantle a bit off of the front. I mean... If I come off... No, I don't want to do that. I want to I want to come off of there. If I go onto there, propeller blade assembly. Rotate. Does that help? I'm trying to listen. I don't hear anything. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's not that. I mean, is it something underneath? It said from the engine, though. So I, I, I can't imagine that it's anything underneath here. And I can have a look. But I'd be surprised that there's nothing... Main landing gear. Right wheel. That's fine. And then the other one's pristine. Okay, so there's nothing there. There's radiated cover down this way. Uh, we got anything else? Oh, wait. What's that? Bottom... Back engine cowling. Ooh. Oh, I see. No, there's another bit under there. And then that bit doesn't move. But we've got the bottom front engine cowling over there. Um, there's nothing else by the look of it. All right. Let's ignore that. And we'll go to number one. We go to the spinner up here. So we've got the one bit up there. And then you've got these... Just... Again, there's it's those clasp type things. Uh, propeller dome. Undo that one. Take that one off. Ah, right. Dis a distributor valve. We go to number three. You're fine. There's nothing else to check in there for a minute. So I'll take off the distributor valve. And... The main propeller assembly, that one can come out. So it's that bit in there, and then the actual propeller itself, that all comes off. So the whole thing there comes off now. So we now go back into number three, propeller pinch governor, front plate, propeller shaft, uh, reduction gear cover. Again, nothing I can see. Oh, hang on, we've got these exhausts up here. Nope. I reckon I'm going to have to take off those, but we'll take this bit off here first. Because a, a knocking noise, that could really be anywhere at all, couldn't it? Right. None of that. I'm going to have to take this cover off down here. Like that. There, right. So we've taken that one off. Now that one will come off there and there. Excellent. Propeller pinch governor. Take that one off. And then we've got... So now we're sort of... Do I... We've got the reduction. i got the propeller shaft there. So I don't have that one. That one I need to remove that. Top engine cowling. i got that bit there. And i got that bit over there. There we go. Coolant tank can come out. So now I've got the reduction gear cover. Take all of those off, like that. Let's just zoom in a minute and have a look at these. Oh, I see, right, we've got another whole load of these. Yeah, just come up through and remove most of those, and then we can come down to this side and we can do the same again. Uh, just like that. 
Oh, they come out really quick. There. So now we've gone further in. So we've Actually, that's already been checked. We've got the gear wheel down there. That's fine. Uh, the rest of this is... Got the cylinder head over there. Right, now what? That one can come out. Gear wheel can come out. All right, so we'll go up to the top and we'll start having a look at some of these bits. So we've got the upper ignition wires. What have I got in there? Uh, this is just disconnect all of these bits. Like that, and that just joins that bit on down there by the look of it. That one comes off. So then we've got the cylinder block assembly rocker cover. I would guess we want to remove the rocker covers. So if I go all the way around this one. Okay, the faster unscrewing is definitely going to be something that we're going to want. This is like, this This is um, serious stuff, this is. Take all of those off there. All the way around like that, there. And then go back over to this cover. That one off. Ah, right there. Now, we, while that other one's doing, we can go through and standard rocker mechanism. Have we got... Oh, what? Have I seriously got to go and check all of the valves? <laughs> where, where am I supposed to find? Oh, I'm going to be here forever doing this. How am I supposed to find a knocking noise in an engine like this? Seriously, I mean, I, I'm guessing that a valve would be the bit that's going to cause me the problems. Surely, with a knocking noise, would it be a valve? No, that, that would be, like, serious damage somewhere. Knocking noise. It could be anything. I'm in my... I, seriously, I'm in over my head. I, I thought I was doing well with that other one. That other one turned out to be a rather simple device. Now I have realized that I am actually in over my head. And this is just a little bit too much. Well, I mean, we might be all right. We might still be able to do this. But this the, taking this thing apart is definitely not going to be an easy task. Um, if, we can, if we can find this piece, and then we can upgrade a bit. One of the things that we're going to need to do, I think, is... First, we want to increase the speed that we can undo things again. That's going to be a... A top priority. Then we're going to start working down towards... Ah! Look! A damaged valve. Did you see that? A damaged valve. It might just be that one. We may not have to go any further in. So we'll take that. We'll get that one out. I'm really hoping... Oh, port camshaft drive. That's fine. I've got another camshaft drive in there then. That one's fine. Okay, I've checked everything. I've got one damaged one right there. Right, so in order to take that off, i got a... Rocker mechanism. So that's got to go all the way up through there. We've got to remove the whole of the rocker mechanism. There. Once we've taken that bit off, we can get to this valve, I'm hoping, and then the valve will be replaced or repaired, whatever it's got to be, and, I mean, it might just be one valve. That may be all we've actually got to do. I don't think it'd be much more than that. Let's have a look. Out it comes. There's the damaged one. You can see it's actually looking in poor condition. Right there. That valve out. That's the one that I wanted. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to. Um, I want to right click like that. Okay. Can I repair this valve? Let's go over to the bench. No, I can't. Right. That's fine. I'll replace said valve, and we'll soon find out. I got one valve right there. Sign here to confirm. There we go. And then I can go back into you over here. I go to. Number two, like that, and I'll zoom up here. 
Fix engine knocking. Brilliant. Right, we've done it. It was just that one part. Now, I've got to put it all back together again. If I don't successfully put it all back together again, I do receive a penalty. So, we've got to keep that in mind as we're busy putting everything back together. So, while that one's doing it up, I'm going to go over to this side and I'm going to put that cover on. And then I'll request that all of those get put back on. Uh, so I'm thinking that being able to undo things faster is going to be a huge benefit to working on this. But also being able to inspect things faster is also going to be a massive huge benefit to us. So we will also make sure that we can inspect things faster. Uh, well, that is going, we can put that one back in, and we can put that one back in, and we can put the reduction cover back on as well. So that'll be, all of those will go on like that. Uh, yeah, still working on these other bits. So we go to the ignition wires up there. Pop all of them back on. Like that. There. Right, now what? Have I got any other bits that I can put back on for a minute? Can't put that on or that on because these are all still doing up. Should very soon start doing all... That's it. I've, I've run out of bits that I can do up for a minute. Everything else is done. It's just taking so long to do these. Oh, there we go. Right. Those are really quick. That's brilliant. Except that... I put that one back in, like that, but it's the reduct. Yeah, I need to um, put those back on. Let's go back round and do all of that there. Just make sure those are back on properly, and then I can put the coolant tank back on. I can put the top engine cowling back on, like that. Um, front plate there. So most of what I took apart was all of this stuff. So we'll, we'll go with the cowling over here. I hope that I've got everything else put back on. I didn't remove any other bits down the side, did I? Uh, that one could now go back on. Like that. There we go. That one can go on. Yeah. Like that. And then you. Like that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that everything on there? Yeah, that's everything on there. So now I can start putting together the propeller on the front. And I think that should be all of it. I mean, we will double check and, and triple check because I, I don't want to fail this task at all. We haven't put everything back together again. But you don't know about that until after you finish. So we put that one on there, on the outside. Then you have the, the overall spinner dome. That goes on. So there's clips there. Like that. They all clip into place. And then that one does up on the front. Right. That's already done. It's all refueled. It's it. Everything else is ready. Oh! The airstrip is bigger. Look! Yeah, well, it's different. Of course, it's different airstrip. That's why. We're on different airstrip now. Now, is that everything that's gone back in? It it says it's done. Inventory. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm not carrying any parts. In theory, should be done. Fix engine knocking sounds. Done. Refill coolant. Done. Refill the aircraft. Done. Final result. Perfect job. Yes! Excellent! We need another 89 points to get to leading aircraftmen. Let us continue our career. What are we going to have next time? Are we going to have to go further into this engine? I kind of hope not. I kind of hope we can get to a, a level up bit before we have to do that. It's a shame that we lost points. Check all spark plugs refuel. Escort and recon plane to the coast. No hunt on the way or on RTB. Please check spark plugs while you're at it. I think one might be misfiring. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Let's let's get it. Let's get this bad boy fueled up first. So we know with the fueling we can pick up that one and you climb straight up here onto there. Uh, fuel cap. Undo that bad boy like that. And if I right click to 
come out of it and I put that one in that should I'm hoping do it right uh, right do you up like that uh, undo you sorry like that fill that one all the way up with fuel right up to the very bim bim brim 60 liters of fuel have gone into that thing that's a lot of fuel and then I climb up onto here right that one I'm not able to do that sort of all in one go so we would just do it like that Climb up onto here, then I go into option two and I put the fuel cap on and I come out of there. Right, now I need to check spark plugs. So, I'm not entirely sure where I reach the spark plugs. Right, they've got to be here somewhere. Uh, spark plugs used to be on the bottom, on, on the other one, but I don't think they are on this one. So we take that one up there like that. Yeah? Oh, hang on, no, we... I'll, I'll take off all of these cowlings. Because I'm pretty sure there's something on the side. So the cowlings take a while. Move that one on that side. We'll come over here. Take this one off. Yeah, like that. Okay. So I've got top plugs. And then I've got... So there's, there's the lower ignition wires. That's surely going into um, some of these other bits. So I want to go ignition wire like that. There. Take you off. Take you off of there. Couple screws on there. And then I've got some more. Like that. Right. So I've removed that. And then I've got a starboard cylinder block assembly. That's the whole thing. But I've got... I, I can see those in there. Right. So maybe if I go to number three... Ah, now I can do it. Right, check the spark plug. That one's damaged. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's in pristine condition. So we've got one spark plug in there that we need to get to. That one over there. That's another damaged one. And that one's fine. So let's see... Right, oh, I see. Right, you can take it out as a whole block, or you can just take out the spark plug. There, so there's two spark plugs out on that side. So I'll come over to this side, and I'll do the same in here. And I go to option three, like that, and I can just look in under there, and I can check these spark plugs. So there's that one there, that one's fine. And you, and you. Right, now how many spark plugs are on this thing? I don't want to check that bit. I want to check the actual spark plug there. That's good. Uh, that one's good as well. Right, now, on the top. Is this anything to do... I've got... Oh, I want to take that one off. See, there's more spark plugs down here, look. Well, I think there's more spark plugs. How many spark plugs are on... How many cylinders has this engine got? Well, that's, that's the bit that I'm curious about. Ah, there. That's there's more of them under there. We go this way. Right, that one's good. How do I get to more? That one's pristine. Do I need to maybe take off this manifold? Would that make it easier? Can I? Can I? I don't know if I can reach all of these spark plugs under here without taking that one. Let's let's go to right. Coolant pipe. That one. Uh, top engine cowling. So I remove that one there. And then... Oop. Right. Go to there. Port coolant pipe. We'll do it on the port side at the minute. Because I can't, I can't really see where these spark plugs are. They're, they're, they're like underneath this bit. Whoa, dude. Uh, well, that doesn't make life easy for me, does it? Oh, what about... Hang on, no, come out of that. Um, oh, no, there, there, there was a way to do this, the whole thing, wasn't there? You're like, no, I don't want to do that. Uh... Oh, I still I gotta remove the entire rocket cover and the port exhaust to be able to like slot that whole thing out. So we wanna try to avoid doing that. So instead right, I've got a spark plug there. 
And I got one under there that I can see. And one down there. So how many are there? I don't know how many there are. Right, there's one over there. There's one at that end. And then one... So there's three. I'm guessing it's six down each side. And there's the other one. Spark plug. Pristine. Right. So six down each side. Is that right? We got two for each of these port exhausts. Uh, so there's one there. I got one there. That's fine. I've checked that one up there. I've got one in there. There should be another... There's a spark plug right there. That one's fine. And then... Spark plug. Fine. Right. So it would appear that it is just those two that I've already taken. I've checked all. There's six down each... Oh, actually, there's a better way to know this. One, two, three, four, five. It is six down each side. Come on, Frith. Get with the program. Right. So I think I have discovered that it is definitely six. We've got two spark plugs in there. Okay. I didn't have to do much signing on that, did I? So then I can go to option two, and I can do this. Right. Zoom right in a little bit. There. Uh, ignition wire. I don't want to put the ignition wire in. What I want to do is I want to put that spark plug in. And then i got another one down here I also want to put in. There we go. Task completed. Ideal. Right. So I've got to put these covers back on, plus those, uh, those covers back on over there. Then I've got that port coolant one, which I didn't actually need to take off in the end. That was just me getting a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, I can put the top engine cowling back on up there. I can put those ignition wires on there. I did need to take the ignition wires off up here, but if I remember, it's six cylinders on each side, so it's two 12-cylinder engines in here. Two 12-cylinder engines. Even I ought to be able to cope with that. Uh, that's a lot of cylinders, so there's a lot of like little bits and pieces with it. But I guess it's still, the basics of it is fairly straightforward. It just takes a little while to work through um, 24 cylinders. Uh, especially if you're like having to replace all the rockers or something like that on 24 cylinders. That, that, that's that's going to take you a while, isn't it? Let's come over to this side and put that one on over to there. And we've done all the rest. All others are complete. There. Excellent. Right. I think that's everything. I think I've done everything once again. Let's step back over here a minute. And we have done everything. Check all spark plugs done. 5 points. Refuel the aircraft done. 5 points. Final result. Perfect job. Another 30 points added to our total. That takes up to 951. We've got 49 to go. Probably two career jobs. We give us those 49 points. Let's see what this next one is. Please be a simple one. Something on the landing gear. Just a nice, easy landing gear job. We've got a couple of those so that then we... Uh, uh, brilliant. Refill oil, refill the aircraft, refill coolant. Got called inter intercepts and bombers, but they got away before we showed up. Please check all the fluids before the next flight. Coolant, aircraft, and oil. Uh, refuel, coolant, and oil. Right. We'll do the refuel in a minute. So we run over to here. We grab that one. We go up here like this. I remove that fuel cap like that. And then I drop this one in. Put you in there. Now I go into you. And we open that one up. Full speed. That's going to be a good 60 gallons of petrol going in there. Uh, there's 50... There's 60, 70 gallons, almost, a fraction under 70 gallons right there. So I'll grab that hose, and I'll run that one over there, and I'll put that one up there. And then I will come over here, and... You know what? It would be a lot easier if I just did this with the ladder. All right? Rather than trying to stretch across from the, the plane wing. Climb up here. Okay. Because then I can do the coolant access door like that and the coolant tank. Then I can come down here and I can pick up one of those coolants. Climb the ladder. 
and pour the coolant in there just like that. So all you have to do is lift that one up until it reaches the min max height. Like that. There we go. Right. Chuck you down. Back up here and put that lid back on there. Once that one's done up, close that one down again. Because obviously we're not quite sure if we're still going to want to. So now, how? what about the oil? Where do we refill the oil on this thing? Oh, there. Right there on the side, look. So I can take the ladder and I can put that one away. And there. Oil. So I go to one oil access door. And do that. And then... Oil tank cap. Right, while that one's undoing, we've got, we've got to bring the Bowser over. This is the only bit that takes a little bit of time for us, is bringing this one over here. But we can still do it. Drop you down like that, and now climb all the way around. Excellent. Insert the hose. That goes into there. I like the way the animation does actually do that properly. A little bit of a stretch on there. But it's still working. Right. Take you. You all the way across. Yeah, that's fine. There, yeah, I don't I don't want to overfill it. Definitely don't want to overfill it. Right, all primary tasks complete. Uh put the hose away. Come here. Over back over to here. Put that one onto there. And right, option two. Now don't forget to put the, the, the cover back on. Oil tank cap. And then cover that one over. There. Do you up. Last thing I want to do is I just want to move this Bowser back out of the way so he can fly his plane out. That was a nice, easy job. Hopefully, we've got one more nice, easy job. Wait. <laughs> We're up to our old tricks again. <laughs> Brilliant! Yes, we forgot the fuel cap. Ha <laughs> ha! That's more like it. There we go. And job done. Refill the coolant, refuel the aircraft, and refill the oil. Final result, perfect job. That has taken us up to 996. We need five points. Just five points. That is all. Oh, I really hope this is an easy job. Because if this isn't an easy job, it's going to be really... It's going to take us ages to earn that last little bit. <laughs> oh, no! Check the pistons and the rings. That means we've got to do a full strip down, just about. Refuel the aircraft and the coolant. I was hoping to intercept a group of 88s attacking our shipping at Eastbourne. The lead got one, but the re they ran away before I could catch up. Check the pistons this time, so I think I over the engine in pursuit. Right, coolant and the engine. We'll, we'll do that a minute. We'll, we'll do the coolant bit a second. Um, so let's just grab that and then scramble up on here. Do that right there. Drop you in and fill you up. Right, this, this, I know that this bit is a little bit slow just doing this. Um, the slow bit is this one, right? Takes a while to refill, to, to refill it. Uh, I'll just put the coolant in here as well. We've done the fuel. Lift that one up. What can we do? We'll do it fast. There we go. Right. There. That one's done. Like that. And then I can go to... Oh, I can. I can do both of them at the same time. So I can put that one back on whilst I'm still up here and holding the can. And then I can put you... I can't put you back down. So I'll chuck you down there. And then I'll come up here and... Right there. Cool and access door. Close you down. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. I want to uh, right click out of it. Okay. So there's two bits done. Take the ladder. I'll drop you over here. 
So if I say now that it's done, it will let me without checking the pistons and rings. But what it'll end up doing is it'll cost me five points. Um, and it'll cost me 30 points for not doing the job either, and that's not what we want. So what I'm going to need to do is, in order to check the pistons and the rings, I've got to take these cowlings off. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to take, like, the blocks off. So we'll take the side ones off, because it looked like the whole engine block would come off all as one go. Kind of like the last one did. Now that, I'm hoping, will save us a bit of time. At least that's the plan. So I'll take all of those off. Around there like that. I don't know if I've got to take the spinner assembly off or not. Uh, so we've got to take that one off there. Like that. And then I've got to... Uh, oh, it won't let me do that. Okay, so I'll go over to this side. I'll take that one off. Like that. And then I'll right click out and i go to that one. And then I'll right click out and I'll come around over and I'll take that one. Like that. And just basically keep rotating sides until they are all off. Right, there's that bit. Zoom out a little bit. And that one there. Right, so that's that first bit. Next up, I need to... Actually, I need to take that top engine cowling off. That should be easy enough. That one comes out of there. And then I can go cylinder assembly block. I've got to remove the rocker cover and I've got to... Right, let me go up there. So that entire block there is what I want to remove. In order to do that, I've got to take that one out. So I can go to there. Port cylinder block assembly. I've got to remove the rocker cover. Probably that one as well. So we're, we'll take off the rocker cover. That one's got to go all the way up through. Which means that we also want to take off the other rocker cover. I've got that whole block. Yeah, the, the whole assembly cover there. Right. I'm hoping that it'll all come out together. And it can be placed on the, on the bench over there. And then that will give us access, I'm hoping, to all of the other bits. I don't know if it will or it won't. I've got no clue at the moment. So there I've got the the block assembly. Wait, is that whole block assembly not going to do it? There. Right, why is it not letting me take... Yeah, if I do it like that... Oh, wait a minute. Port cylinder head? No. If I'd done that, let me put that rocker cover back on a minute. Just one of them. Because it looks like I've done that wrong. I want that to go back on because it looks like I may have been trying to select it wrong. Because look, when, when you're looking at it over here um, for disassemble, right? I got the port cylinder block, but then you've got the whole thing like that. That's the bit that I want to take off. It's not letting me do that. So I've got the lower... Is, uh, that's just the block there. I don't want just the block. I want the... Cylinder block assembly. Oh, maybe I do need to do it like that. Right, that's, that's the assembly. Lower ignition wires. Assembly there. Uh, the rocker cover... Like that whole th thing? No? Alright, let me take off this one over here then. The rocker mechanism. Because that's the bit that it's asking me to remove. Take all of that. Maybe it will then allow me to remove everything all at once. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do this a lot faster in the future. We got It's just this one job. We're only going to do half of this job at the moment, I think. Because we're not going to have time to do all of it. So if we do half of this job... We we'll then start working on the next one. We can see the, the screws coming up there. Look, look, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at how fast it's going. There. And you. So that's, that's that top bit. So now I've got the assembly. Right, I take that off of there. Oh, actually. 
that is working now so I can take all of those off down there and then those up through there and the bigger ones like that so I'll go with that rocker cover I do have to take that one off so I can just order that one to be removed as well while all of these are coming out there and that's going to yes okay so the whole thing does lift out it's just you've got to take off a few bits in the you know at least to start with uh so i need to check the pistons and the rings don't i that one's fine you've got one damaged one over there piston piston i think it's just i don't need to check the piston rods i don't think it's the rings and the actual pistons. Right. A bit up there is taken off. So next I want to go back to option one over here and the rocker assembly like that. Up there. There we go. Right. Back into our check mode, so we've 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 done some of it. There, piston cylinder, and then we go back through the rings. That one's fine. That one's all good, and you're fine. Cylinder. So I found one bad ring so far. That's all. That's all we've got at the moment. Right. I'll finish checking this side a second, and then I'll start. Um, Okay, one single bad ring on this side. That's that's pretty good going. Okay, then over on this side, I want to go to option one and the whole block assembly. So I just take those off there and then all of this. Right, the whole lot together. And then those big ones down through there and that'll lift everything out. Right. Now, while that's busy disassembling... I can go back into here, and I've got just that one there. That one piston ring there. So while that's busy undoing, we're going to go over here. That's why you've got two benches together. Because we've got this huge, great big chunk of steel on here. Like this, there, There's a lot of stuff on there. That is absolutely enormous. Right, those big bits of engine right there. And then we can come back up to here. So we've got more pistons and stuff all coming out. But we've now got our spitty is coming in. It's, it, it's slowly falling apart into pieces. It's absolutely fantastic. We want to so check again. This will be the thing that we need to do is we're going to want faster checking. And we're going to want faster unscrewing again. So there's two damage rings, three damage rings on that one. That's no good. Piston cylinder there. Oh, we've actually got damaged piston cylinder. It doesn't matter if the rings are damaged or not. Once I take them off, it checks them anyway. Oh. I want to check that piston ring. There. Uh, cylinder and then three rings on each one. One, two, and three. And then check that one, one, two, there's two, sorry, and three, right. So I want to check, I want to take that one off, and then I want the three rings on there. So you out, and you out, and you out, and then one, two, and three, and that, just in there. Don't think it's the. I don't think we need to check the rod. Just the pistons and the rings. So I don't think the piston rods need to be checked, do they? And I suppose did we ought to check them just to be on the safe side? And I'm looking. Piston cylinder induction pipe. It doesn't actually seem like we can. It doesn't seem to be a, a thing that we can check anyway. Uh, this we're not going to be able to repair anything on them. So we're going to here. Piston ring times four piston cylinder. Like that. So it's mostly not the ones on the bit that we were working on. So I go back into here like this. I've got one piston ring to put onto there. Like that. And then we go over to this side. I've got three on there. Like that. I can put you back onto there and put you in. And then one, two, three. 
Task completed. Check pistons and rings. That is everything done. So now I can put that block back in. All I got to do now is put everything back together. Now that we've taken Humpty Dumpty apart, we can start working on putting Humpty Dumpty back together. And Humpty Dumpty going back together again is going to take us a little while. Right, well, there's the first stage. Like that. So while we're waiting for that one to do up, we can order this one to be put back in. Like that. And then come up over to this side. Just start working through all of those. There. There. Way down there, like that. So that's that side. And then I can go down here and I can put this rocker mechanism on. All the way down there, like that. And back all the way up again. And there. Put on the exhaust pipe. Like that. Put on that piece up the top. There. i got a rocker cover now that will go back on. Run all the way up through there, like that. Come on, a little bit more. There. Uh, if I got anything down here that needs to be taken off? I don't think so, no. I think that they're, they're fine. Right. Do those up onto there. I've now got... Oh, that one's still not ready to do up. Okay, fine. I'll do this cover up instead. Why is it not making any noise? Should be. Oh, it's working. It was working over the other side. That's why I couldn't hear anything doing up. Okay, so then I can come over to here. It's doing that one up. Now it's doing these up. Oh, no, no. It's, it's now working up through there. So I've got nothing else that I can actually put back on for a minute. We're just waiting for some of these to do up. This one here working on this rocker cover. There, halfway through. Three of these at once is going to be an improvement and faster investigating speeds. I did say I was only going to do half of this, but we're very nearly almost done. So we will complete this job. Um, the standard rocker cover will be the next bit I'll do. We'll go down through there. Set that one. Load more bolts up through there. And then I've got the standard exhaust on that side. And over here... Oh, that one's still not ready to go. Come on, you must be, you, you must be nearly ready by now. There's two standard exhausts. What are we doing up at the moment? I think. Oh, I'm doing that one up still. Right. Then it's going to do that one up. That one's going to flash in a second. As soon as that's flat, there we go. Right, now I can put the port exhaust A back on. Like that. Now I should be able to switch over here. I uh, got the long one again. It's working on that one. It'll go on round. There we go. Look. Do them up. Doing two at once. I like the way that it is working on two all the way down through. It is, it, it is consistent with that. It is nice and consistent. It's good with that. Uh, so that one's flashed. That one's done. So it'll be this one next. Which means I will then be able to put this one doing... There we go. That one goes on the standard exhaust like that. And then if I right-click that one, I can put the cowling on this side. Now we're talking. We're cooking on gas now, ladies and gentlemen. Do up those. There. Top engine cowling. And then we've got one more cowling over the other side. And this job is done. That is going to take us up to leading aircraftsman. That's the one that we've been waiting for, the leading air craftsman. And then we'll be able to get all of our little tricks and bits and stuff out of that. There we go, like that. Perfect. Job done. I hope. I really hope. Yes. All ticks. It's everything. So we will finish this one. I was thinking about leaving it for next time, but no, I'm not going to. There. 1001, 1006, refuel the aircraft. That's done as well. Final result. Perfect job. Another 30 points. That takes us well over our 1,000 points that we need. Continue career, and we get this bit. Okay. Eagle Eye. Good perception combined with detailed knowledge of the aircraft systems allows you to spot faults twice as fast as other mechanics. That's going to be the first one I take. Um, being a beginning expert on oil systems means you only need a glance at its parts to locate the problem. Oil system specialist. 
Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, automatic to remove three screws at a time. Definitely want that one. Good connections. Couple of bottles of brandy sent to the right people ensured that you're always first in line for fuel and spare parts. On all tasks with time limits, you have additional 10 minutes. That might be good. Uh, big exit oil means you only need a glance. Coolant system. So what's that? Maintenance. Uh, as a maintenance at fixing parts isn't is as easy as pie. Fixing part. Oh, that's the, the, the fixing the parts bit. Um, coolant as you don't need to check every part to locate the problem. Many hours spend working with valves and rocker mechanisms allow you to quickly find faulty ones. Deep knowledge of fuel. Uh, oh, right. So I've... Enough to evaluate their status for the pistons, ignition system. Which one do I take? Do I go for that? Three assistants to four screws at a time? Because that's... Valve system with valves and rockers. I'm finding uh, the eagle eye. Good percent of detail, uh, spot faults twice as fast as other mechanics. That's the first one that I wanted. So it's, uh, essentially i got to choose. Do I go for valves and rocker mechanisms? There's a lot of valves and rocker. I think the pistons won that one. Because of um, having to have a look at the, the rings on the pistons... I think that one. And then we'll get some of these others later. Three. That's four screws at a time. And that's three screws at a time. I think three will be fine. I don't think that we need to worry about that too much. Okay. That is all we got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We've got to replace air tanks. To clean the machine gun, first you need to remove the red gun port patch. Then press space to clean it right well we'll be doing that in our next episode so until then thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later